Okay, welcome back. So in the last video, we got this um, working. I do believe there was a little bit of an issue um, where I'd just written counter on line 81, which should be moving sprite.counter. So there's your fix there. And now it runs in a loop, because once it gets to the end, it goes to node zero again, because counter's a zero, it goes and looks for those nodes, and it goes straight back to the beginning. So basically what it does is it goes for counter zero, sorry, node zero, node one, node two, node three, node four, and so on. Keeps going round till it gets to here. It looks to see another node. There isn't one. That's what this line does. So then it sets back to zero, which means it chases back to there. And obviously this is because we've got an invisible wall here, so we can still go through. But the Pathfinder algorithm doesn't know that. So we've got that sorted. It's working. We're happy. So the next thing is to get the idea of being chased. So we're going to stick on the um, A star. I'm not going to worry about any of these other bits. I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm even going to get rid of our little path. Okay, so the first things first, we need some form of um, player sprite. Okay, so we've got our moving sprite. Let's make a player sprite. So let's just declare it. Thought I'd delete that by accident. Why is he doing that? Um, so player. So we'll say player equals new sprite. Not going to do much more with that. Uh, I'll just do player dot radius, make it a circle, and then we'll have the player spawn in there. Everything else is going to stay the same. We are going to keep that invisible wall. Um, so we're not going to keep it. We're going to place it so we can actually traverse the maze. So um, our s our Moving sprite is going to start there. I'm going to start there. It's going to start chasing me straight away, is the idea. So, there's a couple of things I'm going to have to do first. So, everything else is going to stay the same, except for I'm going to want to regularly change this path. So, what I'm going to use is a JavaScript function called set interval. I'm going to call uh, a function called just path. I'm going to run that every second, thousand milliseconds. So I'm going to make this function now. So function adjust path. And I'm also going to want some form of control to um, actually move that player. So function controls as well. Now, that one's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to have it on the mouse click. So really easy. All I'm going to do is just probably so I move to the mouse. I might, I might even just, just do play.x, play.y to be fair. So um, if mouse dot released, so if I release the mouse, uh, player.x equals mouse.x, player.y equals mouse.y. That makes sense. Let's just see if it doesn't break at this point. Shouldn't really matter too much, but I've just got a little error somewhere. So line 95. I think something wrong with my uh oh I think I deleted a, a bracket somewhere. No, I don't look like I have. Let's just double check. It'd be something really stupid because at the minute, for some reason this mouse keeps double clicking like that for no reason. I don't know if it's broken or what. Um actually it's a Kelly bracket there, so I should fix that now. And then tile not found p. So just to get that starting position, I can just do player dot tile equals p. So then what should happen is so I can just move around there. Now obviously that's still working. Our um what do we call it? Our um enemy sprite. I'm just going to take the collider as well. Player dot collider was none just because I don't I don't want to worry about like getting hit like that. As funny as it is, I don't really want that to happen. Um, so yeah, so it's pathfinding to there, then going back to the start, pathfinding to there, because it's still following that node system. Um, so that's all control, just so I can move around. You could argue that I should probably change it so it's like in a grid fashion, but I'm, I'm not worrying about that for now. Um, that's something that you could possibly do. So what we need to do now is we need to make the adjust path function and we need to recalculate our path okay so to do this we're going to look at this adjust path function so 
I'm just going to basically do what I just said. So let x equals floor, player.x. Then I'm just going to divide that by tile size. I think I still have that set. Don't I? Tile size is 50. Yep. So I'm going to do that for the x and y position. So basically convert that for us. Because remember, the matrix starts at 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and so on. So we need to convert back to that. We can't just keep um, putting the player.x, player.y, because it, it, won't, it won't figure it out. And then, I um, don't really know what the best variable name is, but we're just going to say, um, let A, let's say. So again, floor, then I'm going to do the moving sprite dot x and then just divided by tile size again and then so I've got x y which is sort of me or the player and then I've got a b which is like the enemy um, I mean I could probably call it a better name like um, e x or enemy x enemy y let's say that's probably a better better naming convention now I'm going to make a variable so I'm going to say let path equals recalculate this is a function I'm going to make in a minute. Recalculate. I'm going to pass in a. Um, sorry. Um, it'll want to be e x, e y, x and y. So it's going to start from the enemy's x and the enemy's y to players x and players y. Uh, I'm going to remove those nodes. So I'm going to do new node dot remove all. And then I can do moving sprite dot counter equals zero. Um, I think that would make sense and then for well, it's exactly the same code as that so I can just copy that in um, and that should then adjust and make a new path now we just need to make this recalculate function so function recalculate now this is honestly more refactoring than creating a new function because all I'm going to do is take this code up here where I make the matrix and do all the uh, finder stuff. I'm just going to take that out. I'm going to put that in my recalculate function, wherever I put it. Exactly the same. Same matrix is the same. But then what I'm going to do is in this recalculate function I've made, I'm just going to pass in um, my four things, my four variables. So if I just say A, B, C, D, that's my four bits. When I do my find path, I can just, fingers crossed, just pass in A, B, C, D. And then that's going to hopefully, um, hopefully work. I think I just need to return that because a function. So you return that. Come here, star finder. Just need the code up with the control S. Hopefully it works. Probably not liking that today. Um, I think that's honestly about it. The only thing I'll have to do is right at the start of the program, I'll just have to make sure we've got some sort of path, possibly. I'll tell you what, let's just run it and see what errors we get. So path is not iteratable. Iterable. 42 for P of path. So at this point, there is no path. So I think um, I can just comment that out because there is no path at this point. Okay, that's pretty. That was actually surprisingly well. Like, I don't know if you know, but for a lot of these videos, I do just sort of make them up as I go along. Uh, so if I put that there, I got a bit freaked out. I think probably because of the X and Y not being amazing. Let's see where it goes there. That's interesting. That it seems to be cutting across there a little bit. Could be a couple of reasons that's happening. Normally. So that is just obviously resetting and thinking. I think that's it's not quite perfect in the positions. But if I'm honest with you, pathfinding. So this is just got its resetting. You liked it in that corner. There it didn't like it. That's fine there. Obviously there, it's going to die because it can't get to that position there. But there we go. That's like a, 
a chasing enemy. Obviously, I could make it if I really wanted to. Instead of being a thousand, I can make that a hundred, and that'd be like super rapid. Um, probably would crash if I'm honest with you. So it's recalculating really quickly. You see, it's not really like it there. I'm not too sure as to why it doesn't like it on hundred. Um, but if I'm honest with you, I think it's just too fast for it to. Uh, I think because it's going to be resetting to zero every time, it's not actually going to get a chance to move. Um, which is great, but that seems to work really nicely. I argue it's possibly not too perfect there, but I suppose you could um, put a nice condition saying if it gets if it gets to it, it stops. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm actually quite quite proud of it. I like it. Um, so there we go. So that's a really basic. It's not perfect. It's not amazing. Um, at all in fact it's, it's not perfect it's not the best if you've got multiple enemies chasing you do you really want all these set intervals working possibly not but you know if you really try and demonstrate especially if you've got like a two-player game like you're playing against a computer and you really want someone chasing you that's spot on it works Um obviously as like as people know a lot of these videos I do where they are just me learning things working things out teaching lessons or whatever and then I make a video on it it's, it's as simple as that so um, I might find a better way of implementing this, in which case I'll do an updated video. But that's it, really. Um, hopefully, it's nice and easy to follow. Just remember, you need to put in your three new functions. You've got your recalculate, your controls, and your adjust path, which essentially is just the first video, but refactored into different parts. And there we go. Um, if you want it easy, please do a comment. I don't really get any comments on my videos. Nothing serious, anyway. Any problems, any issues, you want to ask a question, you can do. Um, and of course, if you've got anything you want to share with me, any uh, any links to uh, any GitHub repositories or any Replit accounts that you want to send a nice little animation, something that you've done with it, that'd be really good to see. So, um, not been too long out this video. It's been uh, 12 minutes, a lot shorter than the last one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.